what's going on YouTube today we're going to uh, or I'm going to show you how to kill trolls easily early early on in the game um, to get yourself some troll armor and such or just if you happen to run across a troll um, we're going to do we're going to use just a crude bow for this uh, it's the one that I crafted from the beginning of the game it is a uh, level 2 crude bow but it's not that much better than the level 1 See, the level 1 has 22 pierce damage, where mine has 25, so it's 3 better. And it's fairly easy to get level 2 through bows to attack the trolls. And we're going to be using flint arrows as well, because you can get flint arrows pretty easily. Just from uh, feathers and flint and wood. So, we're going to run out now and actually go find a troll. And we'll cut back once we get there. I'm going to show you, like, how easy it is to get them. They, they hit hard, but they're fairly easy to kill. So, let me go find one. Alright guys, so we have a troll right in front of us here. And there's two types of trolls. There's one that actually carries like a tree trunk that he uses as a club. And there's one that will throw a rock at you and stomp the ground whenever he's in front of you. And I'm going to show you both if I can find both. I'm going to show you how to fight both of them. The main thing is, you want to make sure you have a rested buff. If you do not have a rested buff, you need to put down a campfire and get a rested buff before you try to attack them. Um, the rest of buff, what it does is it gives your health regen plus 50% and stamina regen plus 100%. You also want to make sure you have some food on, and I know in the early game, you're not going to have the best food. So I brought what you would normally have. Like, you can cook meat up, <clears throat> you can find a mushroom, and you can find a berry. So we'll eat these three things, and that's as, as much as I'll do. Just that right there, and that's going to be our food buff. And like I said, if you don't have a rested buff, you want to put down a campfire. Like, we have a five-minute rested buff still. But if you didn't, you would just put a campfire down. You don't need to uh, have a workstation down to build a campfire. You just need five stone and two wood, which you can find out in the, the woods. pretty easy if you don't have it on you. Build your campfire, sit down next to it, uh, get your rested buff back. As soon as you get it, then you can attack the troll. Just make sure you have your buffs a little bit, because the stamina helps out. And we're going to actually put our bow here. Make sure we get flint arrows equipped. Now, the first attack you do is from sneak. Like, you don't have to be sneak. Like, just the first attack. You can be standing up as long as he doesn't notice you. If you shoot him, it's going to do a large amount of damage. So, if, if possible, you want to hit him with an attack. Which, crew bow has a lot of drop on us. So we're going to aim pretty high. Hit him with attack like that, and that's going to take a bigger chunk of his health out of the beginning that you see right there. Now you want to back up, pop shots at him. I don't know if headshots are a thing, but I try to aim for the head on him. And when he gets up close to you, all you're going to do is turn around and run a little bit. Wait for him to stomp. You want him to stomp the ground like that. Then you turn around and you fire a shot at him. When you turn around, try not to move because you don't want to waste any more stamina. He's going to throw a rock at you. Make sure you dodge the rock. Shoot at him. How he's close. We turn around and run. As soon as he stops, turn around and shoot. That rock almost hit us there. That would have been bad. But you pretty much want to get him. Gets up close. Just run away. You're trying to bait that, that slam he does down. You're trying to bait him to slam the ground in front of you without actually hitting. He slams the ground in front of you. You turn around and you shoot him. Like that right there, he just slammed. You turn around, take your time, fire a shot. Take your time, fire a shot. And keep on backing up, especially if you get little enemies like this, the gray dwarfs after you. You don't have to run the whole time because you're going to use your stamina bar up. So you can, you can watch him and just walk away from him like this. He's not going to be able to catch up to you. So if you're running low on stamina, do that. As soon as he goes to stomp, make sure you run. And then just turn around and shoot. Oh, we actually got hit by a rock there. And there you go. That's your first troll down. I think the, uh, the, the one with the club is actually easier, in my opinion. But they're both really fairly easy. When you get these guys on you, like I said, just try to keep moving. Don't worry about taking these gray dwarfs on while you're fighting the troll. Just keep moving. Fire a shot at the troll. And then once uh, you got the troll down, then you can... You can face those guys or run away from those guys or whatever it is you want to do. But alright, now I'm going to try to find the next troll. 
with a club if we can find him. And I'll show you how uh, how to kill him, which is pretty much the same thing. You try to bait out his swing, and then you turn around and shoot him when he swings. But we'll jump to it as soon as we find him. Alright guys, welcome back. As you can see, we got our troll buddy right up in front of us there. Carrying that big old tree trunk that he's going to use as a club. And uh, we're going to attack him here in a minute. You see my rested bonus is actually under 8 minutes right now. Which, you, the lowest you can get it, I think, is 8 minutes. So I'm actually going to show you exactly what I would do. Like, just pull your hammer out. Oh, we need one more stone, actually. Uh, give me a stone. Usually they're all over the place. We get a stone, we'll put down a fireplace, get our rested buff. Here's a stone. There we go. So we get our stone, pull our hammer out, put down a fire. Right there. We can go ahead and equip our bow. We don't need to. Just sit down right next to it. And let's see our rest of bonus is 555. It says we get a comfort of one because we're sitting down. You hit X to sit down, by the way. And as soon as uh we give it like 30 seconds and that rest of buff should pop up from five to eight. And then once that's done, we'll eat our food. And yeah, see there it just went to eight. Now you can get rid of the fire, you can pull your hammer back out and deconstruct it, or you can leave it there, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can pretty much make a fire anywhere, the stuff to get it, you can find pretty easily just stone and a couple wood. We're going to eat our food, like I said, I'm still doing the same food that you guys would have at this level. With some mushroom, a berry, and a piece of cooked meat. If you want to, and you've defeated the first boss, you can use your uh, ability on them, but there's no real reason, no real need for it. You can defeat them just fine without it. So here we are. He's right in front of us here. we got a little bit of an open area over here we can fight him. Ooh, this is actually, this will be, he's a different color. So he's, he's a one star or a two star. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this will be a good test, won't it? See if we can beat a one or two star troll with a crude bow. I've actually never faced a two star, so let's find out. Alright, like I said, we're going to attack from sneak first. This is going to be the biggest hit points. We're going to aim way above his head because we've got a crude bow. And as he's running to us, keep firing shots at him. It's a two star. So this guy's going to one-shot me, if he hits me. So he gets close to us, we're just going to move forward, back up, shoot. He's getting close, he's going to take a swing. As soon as he swings, turn around, aim. Turn around and aim. Back up a little bit, aim for the head. We want to kind of bait that swing out, like I said. Just like that. That hit the tree. Imagine that. Don't get blocked by any trees. Every time he swings, make sure you take a shot at him. It's actually hung up on the tree right there. It worked in our favor. We're out of stamina. We're just going to kind of walk around, get some stamina back. I'm not going to worry about this gray dwarf in front of me. Control is more important. As soon as he's in swing mode, you run. Turn around. Shoot. Run. Turn around. Shoot. Which we don't get the gray dwarf in front of us. Oh. And if you're running low on stamina, once your stamina gets low like that, just walk. Just walk, get your stamina back. Like I said, not that big deal. He can't catch up to you. And sometimes he gets stuck behind trees and stuff like that, so you can actually just bait him back and forth. And he'll wander back and forth in between the tree and won't try to cross it like that. So he never gets to you. If you're having trouble. He swung, so we turn around. Take a shot at him. He 
let's uh, try to go for headshots. Don't let that tree fall on you. Because you will get killed. Try to go for headshots. I don't know if they do extra damage or not. He's swinging. We run. Turn around and shoot at him. He swings. Turn around and shoot. Here are these gray dwarfs here. We don't have to, but they're kind of being annoying. See how he's walking around that tree trunk there? Well, they might kill me there. Jesus. But you can just keep walking away from them. You don't have to deal with them. As long as you keep moving. Like I said, you can walk and stay stay ahead of these guys. Let's try to bait out a swing. Oh, he's turning around. Oh, we ran out of flint arrows. We're using fire arrows now. Same effect. Fire arrows are actually going to take longer. Because they don't hit as hard. They have a dot effect on them, but they just don't hit as hard. Make sure a tree doesn't fall on us. Alright, we're low on stamina, so we're going to walk. Stamina's back up. Turn around, take a quick shot. He shot, he swung at us, so now we turn around to shoot. Take our time. So if, as long as you keep walking, these gray dwarfs really don't hit you. Stamina's low, we're gonna walk. Oop. If you're walking like that and you're trying to get stamina back and he takes a swing at you, just hit sprint just for a second, just to make sure. Like I said, he's a two-star. So he's probably gonna one-shot me if he hits me. Gotta get rid of some of these gray dwarfs over here. So if you get him around trees like that, logs and stuff, he doesn't know what to do. He tracks back and forth. So if you need a breather, you can do it like that. Right, just keep calling him. So you want to try to bait that swing out like that. Turn around and run whenever you bait it out. Then you get time to take a shot. Run low on stamina, just walk away. As soon as he swings, turn around and shoot. Easy as that. Taking a two-star troll down with the crude bow. There he goes. That's all she wrote. How much troll hide did we actually get from that? 20. Wow. Not too shabby. And that's that's how easy it is to take out trolls, guys. Like I said, you just got to uh, make sure you have some kind of food on you. Um, just increase your stamina bar just a little bit. And uh, just turn around and shoot at him whenever he swings. You try to bait a swing out. As soon as you bait a swing out, you just turn around, take a couple shots, let him get close again. They just swing out, turn around, take a couple shots. As you saw there, we just took out a two-star troll with a crude bow. The only difference you guys might have, other than me, is skill skills-wise. My uh, bow will probably be a higher level, but it's not that much of a difference, I don't believe. Look here. Yeah, I'm not sure how much of a difference the level will make. I know it makes a little bit of difference, but I'm not sure how much more. But you should be fine. Like I said, the troll's never going to hit you if you just do it the way I just showed you right there like that. And uh, get yourself some troll hide. Make yourself some troll uh, armor. Get some gold. All that good stuff. Yeah. Simple as that, guys. If you uh, liked the video, you found it helpful, make sure you drop a like. Leave me a sub. Much appreciated. And yeah, man. If you haven't done so, check out the uh, Valheim playthrough we're doing, and we'll catch you guys later. Eh?